What's up, what's up, y'all? It's your boy ADNS all day to do the review for Raw, which was on January 16th, 2023. The headline for the night was Bobby Lashley secures title opportunity for Raw 30 in thrilling fashion. So, yeah, y'all, 30 years of Raw, man. Time goes by so quick. And uh, it's, it's crazy that this show been on for 30 years, ever since I was a kid, right? This stuff was on, and now here it go. It's still going in 2023. So, yeah. And um, now, what do I think about the show? So, this show, I was watching it, but I'm not going to lie. This episode was a little boring because it was just a whole bunch of, like, kind of, like, matches. Really, really? This, match, this show did have a lot of matches. It did. But the matches just weren't the best, you know, type of mix-ups and setups. But I'm going to go through it. I think a lot of these matches were, like, to see who would be in the Royal Rumble uh, whatnot. The last match itself was a six-way elimination tag that was uh, for the U.S. title. And as you can see who won, who I figured, I figured he was going to win. But we're going to get to that. Y'all know I do my final hour live streams, too. I'm going to link in the description box. But to start it off, we had Solo Sokoa defeating Mustafa Ali. So it started with the bloodline, um, no Sammy, and, you know, doing they same old antics. Uh, Judgment Day showed up and wanted to smoke with them because so I thought they were finna fight. But then again, I was looking at Solo ever since they first came out. I was looking at Solo, and I'm like, he looked like he finna wrestle. But Jimmy and Jay and them didn't, you know, the way they was dressed. And then, yup, and then Ali comes out, and then it turns into a match between Solo and Ali. I know, that's boring. I'm sorry. Nobody wants to see Solo go against Ali, especially knowing that Solo is going to win. And, like, here are what I be saying. Like, man, they be giving Solo all the rank and the credit, but they treat the Usos like they just weak. And like they ain't even nothing and the same stuff ended up happening in this match too where like kevin owens showed up and then he started beating them all down again and that was just it was just really goofy and stupid it, this was not a good start to raw um then we had the street profits defeat cedric alexander and shelton benjamin so this was just a normal tag match Again, not really that interesting. You know, Street Profits versus Sheldon and them, like, no story, nothing. Just, yeah, y'all go at it, you know. And the Street Profits won, okay. So, it's like everybody who you would think will win is winning right now. Then you got Omos going against Elias. And you already know where this match went. Elias was trying, though. He was. He was trying. Omos did a lot today, too. For him to be back, Omos is back. He's been gone for, like, a month. But in this episode, Moss was actually doing a lot. He was doing a lot in the end of the episode, too. But, yeah, y'all, you know Elias, he never wins. He's always getting him beat up and embarrassed, too. And Omos just beats him. So, Omos is in the Royal Rumble, which is kind of expected. You know, now everybody got to worry about who going to get rid of Omos again. Didn't they do that same stuff last year, right? Um, then you had, like, I wasn't joking when I said there was a whole bunch of matches. Then you had the Judgment Day defeating Alpha Academy. And, again, boring. Boring. Who wants to see the Judgment Day go against Alpha Academy? And then look who won Judgment Day. Who you expect to win? This is why at the beginning of this show, I was, like, in and out. Because it was just, it just wasn't that good. It got a little bit better at the final hour. The blood. Now I'm looking at the promos on the side of the bloodline brawl with Judgment Day. So, yeah, it turned into, like, a big brawl. And then, like, Kevin Owens and stuff came out. Mm-hmm. Cody Rose, they talking about he's coming back at Royal Rumble. So, here they go pulling it just like he did last year. He magically pops up at WrestleMania. But, look, he comes a little bit earlier at Royal Rumble to set himself up for WrestleMania. I told y'all about that injury, man. I told y'all that injury wasn't real, man. Because what a coincidence this would happen, right? And you see they got all this hype behind him and all this push behind him as if this was all planned for him to come back because they know darn well if, if Cody would have stayed there all of this time, he wouldn't have probably been as up there or maybe people might not want to see him. You know, he made an appearance the way he did, which was, you know, shocking for some. And then he was winning and he did some things. Then the injury kind of like knocked him back. 
So now people still kind of like got their hopes up, you know. Then we had a match between Mi Chen and EO Sky. What in the world is going on with tonight's matches? Mi Chen and EO Sky. EO Sky, Looney Tune girl, the meanest looking girl you ever seen. So they had a match. Mi Chen ended up winning. I think it was a distraction or something because she had brung out Candice LeRae with her. So Candice LeRae is with Mi Chen now. And what again, what is going on with the Looney Tunes and these belts, man? What is the point of y'all having these belts? What's the point? Y'all don't never put them up. They study putting y'all in singles matches. Can y'all, I mean, at least get in more tag matches. It's like they ain't got nobody to go. You got two different shows that y'all could be on. Y'all could be on Raw and SmackDown. And you telling me there is no tag teams for them to go against? So they just walk around with the title so they can be on both shows. Like and, and Bailey gets to come with them, even though Bailey doesn't have any title. Still does not have a title. Even though she do got a match coming up against uh Becky next week. Becky is going against Bailey in a hell in a cell match. Or was it a cage? I don't know. It's a cage or a hell in a cell match. So they gonna be going at it. I'm gonna be watching that. That match should be good next week. Um. Oh yeah, it's getting to the Bianca stuff. Then we had Bronson Reed go against Akira. To you. It, man, it was a lot of matches going against Akira Tozawa, and you here we go. You already know Bronson Reed is gonna be the cure, y'all. This this stuff was just predicted. This is why I was kind of boring because we we sitting here watching these matches, but we already know the outcomes, and none of these matches were really hype. Like none. Except the last match. So, and then the last match is after that. And then the Bianca stuff. So, Bianca came out. She actually was not behind stage this time. Wow, you know. They are always got her backstage. She come out. She basically still talking about she's back. She still got the title. Alexa comes out. Challenges her to a match. I think at Royal Rumble for the title. I think they said Royal Rumble for the title. She accepts. They start getting all close. They start brawling it out. And Bianca was, yeah, Bianca was definitely getting the upper hand on her through the whole fight pretty much. And then they got into the audience. And then they was brawling on the audience. And then that's when the Uncle Howdy dude, man, is, <laughs> I'm tired of saying this dude's name, yo. This damn Uncle Howdy dude, that's when he shows up. And then he just does, He and then Bianca sees him this time. And then it, like, distracted her. It's like she froze up, you know, like she was under. It was kind of weird a little bit because it's like she froze up, like, under a spell or something. And then that's when Bianca hit her with, like, two finishers, like, bow, sister, I've got bow. And then it was over with for Bianca. So Bianca gets laid out again, y'all, again. I knew it. I knew it when I was watching it. I'm like, watch this end so bad for her like look how they trying to make it look like oh she's back oh give her her time oh and then look what ended up happening you're beat again you 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 don't get the upper hand and look good again this keeps happening to bianca and other people as well so that's getting annoying you know you're getting tired of seeing that it's it's too it, where like i said we'll be up with some of these fuse sometimes some of these fuse just don't have no balance at all none like come on now but, um, all right, let's get to the last match. Let me see. The Judgment Day promise to rise over the Usos. All right, then we got the last match. Bobby Lashley won the six-way elimination match, uh, elimination match for the U.S. title opportunity. So who was in this match? It was Bobby Lashley, Seth Rollins, Dolph Ziggler, The Miz. Um, who else? Um, who was the other two? Let me see. All oh, right, it was Baron Corbin. Right, Baron Corbin was in this match too. And another person. See, it was a lot of shit going on in this match cuz then you had Theory coming out and he was all on the sideline. And they was just all going at it. People kind of were like fighting a Pacific pit people. Finn Balor was also in the match. So it was them six. And then, but really, Seth was getting all the pins, though, because he kept coming out of nowhere, hitting people with his finishers, and then getting the pin. Like, the first three pins was all Seth. All Seth. 
and it was the Miz, then it was Dolph, and then I think it was Finn after that. And then Bobby finally got a pin on Corbin by hitting him with a spear. Again, it was so much going on this match, man. It was a lot. Because you got JBL out there. You got Theory out there. You got Seth messing with Theory. Right. Then then you had Omos come out of nowhere with a MVP. So all of them out on the outside. It was, again, a lot. And I don't know, Omos just started attacking people, trying to choke slam mugs. Omos was doing all of this while this match was going on, man. It was crazy. But like I said, it got down to Seth, though, and um, Bobby. And Omos ended up getting curve stomped on the outside when he was trying to choke slam Seth. It, it was just, again, it, it was a lot of commotion. This match was like over 30 minutes long, right? It started at like 8.20. It was like 40 minutes left, so it, it was a lot. It was a lot, but then it came down to Bobby and Seth, man, and Seth uh, pretty much kind of got distracted, which led him into a spear, which ended it, and Bobby ended up winning, which I figured. So And then it ended with Bobby and Seth, you know, look, uh, or Bobby and Theory staring at each other like, yeah, what's up? What we going to do? What we going to do at Raw 30? Raw 30 next week, Raw 30. So, Lashley versus Theory, man. Oh, man. I don't think Lashley is going to win this, though, man. Because, again, I think they're going to want to keep that self-rivalry going. If if Bobby wins this, then, golly, that, that U.S. title been bouncing around like crazy, right? I guess it's not sitting for too long. But I don't know because then they'll try to build something up with Theory maybe in these, you know, next pay-per-views. So, but I definitely do believe it's going to be something in that match. Like, it ain't just going to be a straight-up match. It's somebody going to interfere. Somebody is going to do something. It might even be the main event, like, kind of like what happened tonight, you know. But this Raw was just not that good, man. I'm going to give this Raw a 2. I'll give it a 2 out of 5. It, it just wasn't, man. A lot of matches, and I don't got no problem with a lot of matches. Just make the matches be more worthwhile, and a lot of these matches, you can see where I think most people will know who was going to win those matches, right? I mean, all of not not a single match was a surprise tonight. Not not one, not one. Even this match wasn't. I mean, yeah, it was a slight chance of Seth winning this match, but yeah, Bobby again, he's been gone, so they want to do something with him because he was gone for a minute. So now they act like he can come back and do something, you know? So. Yeah, I'm going to link the final hour watch along to this in the description. So check that out, guys. Y'all want to see my reaction to this match in the final hour of the episode and the Bianca stuff? Because it kicked off with the Bianca stuff at the, at the like, 9 o'clock hour. Yeah, 9, right, because the Raw be three hours. So, um, yeah, hit that like button, comment, subscribe. And I'm going to see you guys on the later tip. Peace out, everybody.